हेलो गाइस मैं हेलो बैक एंड विद अनदर न्यू वीडियो एंड आई शुड हैव मेड दिस वीडियो वे अगो बट स्टिल दैट टाइम आई वाजंट हैविंग टू मच नॉलेज अबाउट प्रिज्मा और व्हाट इट इज हाउ इट इज वर्क स्टिल आई एम नॉट हैविंग बट आई नो व्हाट द कांसेप्ट व्हाट इज व्हाट द कांसेप्ट इज ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट अ टूल दैट इज स्पेसिफिक टू प्रिज्मा यूजर नाउ व्हाट इज प्रिज्मा प्रिज्मा इज अ टाइप ओएम फॉर नो जेएस एप्स लाइक फॉर ऑब्वियसली नो जेएस बेल्स uh you can use it with your a, any of your node js project uh people most of the time use it with next that's how i came to know about it at all okay but today i have uh, a speak uh, prisma schema builder so in prisma we all always have a schema of ever our database okay so we have to build it in order to use prisma in our project so today i have a prisma schema builder that is visual and that will help you to build a total prisma schema easily so let's get started and see what do we have today okay so we are here at prisma schema builder.io and as you can see over here it simply have a single button to build new schema and here as well so here uh click on new schema name your schema choose a provider uh create your models and click on generate schema it will generate the schema for you so let's create one so i am uh, choosing postgresql for now and i can name the schema anything suppose uh, user a blog that they have like uh blog maybe okay blog okay then i can have models enums and i can't actually import from uh, our prisma schema as well so if i show you that actually let me show you that as well prisma io and wait 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 if we go to docs and why prisma 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 schema if we go to prisma schema here you can see we can we have a schema okay and we can simply copy from this paste it here import schema and see it generated a schema for us so here is a user model with its attributes and obviously you can see all of those are visually representable so here we have id uh name id then type is end default value nothing required unique list and i can obviously update it from here as well like if i wanted to be unique okay so i will just click it on click on unique and update the field so every id of uh, my uh, database like of my this user table will be unique from now on so we can have create at email name role post everything okay in post section we have similar kind of things id and all so as you can see all of those are visually representable okay and here you can have like all of the fields that you can add or remove over from here so actually uh, here we have post post field wait yeah here we have post field i didn't knew that they have did but here you can see all of the fields that you can add over here but rather than that here we have one of the enum also that is role and in a values for in a values we have user and we have admin and you can add more users like editor like add more roles like editor and all and all of this is created like i have reverse engineered like i taken uh, please uh, i taken a schema then uh, bring it here to like uh, reverse the process but uh, basically what you will do whenever you are creating a new schema you will go the other way like first you will create a model then you will create those attributes then you will add those you can add any type of data from here then you will create the this is basically the columns columns of your table okay so you will create all of those then you will create another model another in um even i i can create another model from here, here as well here you can see its id suppose i want to create a uh, like it's unique it's uh, is id okay uh, update field no problem and rather than having string i would like to have a int update field then uh, suppose i am having a 
um, database table for comments. Okay. So it will have it will obviously have a string as well. Okay. Uh, a string will be the comment of mine. So suppose message m e s s a g message. Okay, wait. <laughs> message yeah string default value none required yes obviously it will be required if it's if it's gonna be uh if it if someone gonna be posting a uh, comment so yeah i can add that as well so yeah this is how you are supposed to create it and whenever you click on a generate schema it will generate the whole schema for you so yeah that's it that's really it about uh, this whole website this is this is a really handy website, I would say, like uh, really well made and uh, really quick to uh, quick to use and easy to understand all of those things. OK, so that's about it about this website. Nothing else, actually, because what else should I teach you about this? Right. There's nothing else. So, yeah, that's about it about this website. This is how you use it and uh if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel and if you know some of the great apps like this which can like uh, make your life easier please let me know about them as well so i can feature them in my future videos so bye for now